Hi Capricorn, this is Jeffrey, this is Ripe Color, and this is your three card reading for the full moon, the blue moon, the Halloween moon, October 31st. And uh, please like, subscribe, share, comment, and if you'd like a one-on-one, -on -one, I'm available. All the information is below. Let's get to it. Right. I'm really digging this three card reading thing, I have to say. Wow. All right. One, two, three. Big reading here. All right. <laughs> this is this is kind of wow. All right. So this might be the breakup of a relationship. This might be the break of a relationship, break up of a um, of something that <clears throat> you know was established, um, and uh, it doesn't serve any purpose anymore, and. Uh, Wow. Okay. A six. Troubled water, smooth water. Now I want to really concentrate, funnily enough, on this card because this card, you know, when you read, you know, you hopefully you know what the meanings of cards are. But then, like after a while, as you read, like there are certain cards that just have extra information in a way, or they start talking to you in a different way. And for me, this card is always about, <clears throat> it's very biblical to me, like they're leaving like a land of famine or something. They don't even know where they're going. They don't even care where they're going. All they know need to know is like uh, this, we're done here because it, it just doesn't serve any purpose. And I always feel like it seems like this is the man and the wife and the child, but I always feel like this is his mother. And the reason I feel like this is his mother, it's almost this matriarchal understanding of knowing when it's time to go, like this intuitive, matriarchal, almost earth mother, almost grandma, like, you know, deep grandma knowing it's like, you know, when grandma says it's time to go, it's like, we, you know, we sort of knew, but she makes the final decision. It's like, so because the middle you have the tower, which is, uh, wow. The tower is about this unexpected change where um, it's kind of, it's, you know, very unexpected and, and you know, things just fall apart, like the crown comes off the building, right? So it's like, who was king is no longer king. Um, so who was in charge is no longer in charge. Um, it's kind of, in a way, catastrophic. However, it, it's kind of the middle And then you get the lovers, which is all about love. It's also about choice. The lovers is kind of really a benefic in a lot of ways because you have this angel overseeing the whole thing. So it's almost like there's this certain sense of uh, 
it being uh, watched over and blessed. So I know that it, like in a lot of ways, um, in the Western world, it's kind of like, we all have this sense of, I certainly have a sense of, uh, this is my destiny or, the, or not so much that, no, that's not what I wanted to say. This individualist, I can take it on, I'm in charge of my life, I'm the boss, I know, you know, this self-led sort of, and I'm not saying that it's wrong, I'm not saying that at all. What I am saying is sometimes we need to uh, kind of hang our head, our, our, um, sometimes we need a higher wisdom, right? So higher wisdom can be your own soul, could be your guardian spirit, it could be God, it could be an angel, it could be your deceased mother, your deceased grandmother. I feel like if there's a choice to be made, um, this is also a sacred contract, right? There's a sacred contract between Adam and Eve, and there's a sacred contract between humanity and the divine. That, that's what this is kind of about in a lot of ways. Um, it's the card of Gemini. So Gemini has that twin energy and, you know, twins, even though they're the same, there's a difference and they kind of want to do separate things. It needs to be combined to go up to spirit in a way to get the information to allow itself to like go in every direction. So uh, there's definitely a, um, even though it doesn't sort of say it, there's definitely a, uh, sometimes, you know, it comes down for a reason. Sometimes, you know, you lost that job or the relationship ends. It's like, well, this was, you know, kind of like, uh, the way it was supposed to go down. The way it was supposed to go down, it might feel horrible, but it was kind of the way it was supposed to go down. But what I, I, I'm trying to, to get at is um, there's spiritual help available. There, so there, there's, there's spiritual help available and um, it would probably be wise to avail yourself of it, okay? Like that's what I'm getting. It would be wise to avail yourself of that energy. <clears throat> I was gonna throw another card, but I don't think I have anything else to say. Blessings. Uh, thanks for tuning in. And <clears throat> whether this is or isn't going down, enjoy Halloween. Put on a little outfit, you know, put cobwebs in the house, watch Hocus Pocus, you know, enjoy Halloween. And um, thanks for tuning in. <clears throat>